With his microphone in place and a deep love for the city, I love San Francisco. Bill Louis feels quite comfortable in front of a crowd. I chose this as the starting point because of the view that's presented behind me. This is San Francisco's historic Chinatown, and it's the oldest Chinatown in North America. A neighborhood that becomes his classroom. They're known as the Cantonese. Where he teaches complete strangers on how the 1849 gold rush brought the Chinese to California. Cantonese name for California is Gam Sang, which means gold mountain. And then, like a Pied Piper, they followed Louis through the steep streets and the back alleys, learning about family associations in architecture. Typical Chinatown building, three to four stories high. To how the neighborhood was nearly wiped out in 1906. An earthquake on a Richter scale about 7.9 devastated San Francisco. There was about 20, 30 seconds of tremors, followed by three days of fire. Louis is a volunteer for SF City Guides. The locals that live here go, oh, that's not bad. Leading free tours for visitors from all over the world and country, even local San Franciscans hoping to learn something new. I, I love the look on people's faces when they understand or learn something for the first time, and that look of enlightenment. I, I live for that. Like tidbits and details about the city that most tourists wouldn't even notice like these circular bricks found throughout the city. That denotes that it's a water reservoir. So now if there's a fire, in an emergency, a firefighter can open that cover, street cover, and extract water from the reservoir to put out the fire. It's a literal treat for tourists learning about the good fortune of neighborhood businesses. And when he first started in 1960, he made something like $5 a month in gross first couple of months. But over time, the novelty of watching people actually fold the cookies, that he was able to develop a thriving business. And for Bill Louie, he thrives as a keeper of Chinatown history. I hope that people who join my tour just get a better understanding of the Chinese experience in America and also to see us not as an unknown mass of people, but as individuals. And I hope that comes across. Taking pride in sharing his city, sharing his culture.